with it, dude. Woo, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Welcome back to the Beer Barn. I am excited about today's video because today's video is all about shallow water fishing. And it's going to be special this year because of something that is about to happen here in just a few weeks, end of May, beginning of June. There is going to be this little thing called Brood X emerge from the ground in the southeast and throughout a lot of states really but really down here in the southeast and there's going to be billions and billions of cicadas that come out of the ground and they start to crawl all over everything turn into these little winged devils that hang on trees and scream at you every single time that you move and when that happens there is going to be a shallow water bite that just absolutely pops off and there's gonna be so many cool opportunities to catch some shallow water fish. But that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about Brood X. For you guys that don't know what Brood X is. So Brood X are cicadas. And what cicadas are, are they are a small bug that lives in the ground until the ground hits a certain temperature, the temperature being 64 degrees. Um, they come out of the ground, they crawl up onto a hard surface like a tree most likely because they actually feed on the sap of the tree roots while they are under the ground. They'll crawl up onto the trees, onto the bark of the trees, into the limbs, and they turn into a little winged creature that actually looks kind of something like that right there and once they get up on the limbs of those trees they start to scream and make a bunch of noise they mate they lay eggs those eggs go back into the ground and then 17 years later they do the whole process over again now cicadas come out every single year there are cicadas that come out every year and you know they make the noises they fly around you guys have probably seen them. they look like giant flies with giant wings and they make a buzzing sound like somebody's got a metal ball inside of a tin can but this brood of them or this hatch of cicadas that's coming up called brood x is special because they are a long-lived cicada so what that means is is they have babies and these babies can live underground from 13 to 17 years depending on the brood before they actually come back out and when these cicadas hatch it isn't like there's just a few hundred or a few thousand or even a few million there are billions and billions of these cicadas that will come out of the ground all across the southern United States and into some of the northern states as well and they will hatch out crawl all over the trees and start to do their thing and what's crazy about this hatch is if you've never experienced the last time I experienced it I was 10 years old 17 years ago I was 10 years old and it probably is one of the most insane things that I will ever remember experience in my life because these cicadas, there's so many of them and they're so loud that you literally can't even sit outside and have a conversation because they are just hanging all over every tree. They're on every hard surface. They're all over the side of your house, all over your deck, your car. They're hitting you in the side of the head and they're just making this screaming sound that you can't get away from. Now, I know that sounds like a plague. It sounds like something we don't want. That sounds like you're like, oh my word, Alex, I don't want anything to do with that. But what's crazy about this is every time that it happens, it totally changes the environment which everything lives in. Everything in the environment around you that it is a predator or is looking for an easy meal is going to feed on these cicadas. Possums, raccoons, birds, snakes, frogs, cats dogs there's even been accounts of deer and squirrels eating on these things humans even rake them up and eat them for some reason and when you translate that to the water obviously every predatory fish in the water is going to start focusing on these things just because of the immense amount of them that actually end up in the water end up on the bank end up around the water all these predatory fish start to look shallow they start to get ready to eat these things and it becomes a food source and it becomes a bite that is going to be extremely unique last time that this you know brood x happened i can remember being 10 years old you know 10 11 years old when it happened and me and dad getting on some insane insane flipping shallow water top water bites up shallow just because of all the fish they're going to be up shallow so now i know what you're saying alex okay so we've got this brood x there's going to be billions of these cicadas that come out of the ground they're going to be all over the ground they're going to be all over my stuff they're going to be in the water and the fish are going to want to eat them well what happens is and i know what you're saying alex why does this affect me well, what happens is 
all these predatory fish start to look towards them, right? So when I say predatory fish, I'm talking bass, bluegill, crappies, muskies, trout, anything that eats other fish or bugs on the surface are going to be looking shallow and they're going to be wanting to eat the cicadas. Well, what I think is going to happen and kind of what happened the last time that these things come out of the ground and when we just have our normal cicada hatches and our mayfly hatches that happen is there's a population of really big bass that will stay up shallow and not actually move off the bank just because of all the food that is going to be up shallow. Not only the cicadas themselves, but all the smaller fish that are going to be eating on the cicadas as well. The bass will focus in on the cicadas and they'll eat them just like they'll eat everything else, but they're also going to be focusing on the bluegills, the bait fish, and all the other smaller fish that are going to be feeding on those cicadas as well. And just with the thousands and thousands I can't wait for some of you guys to experience this because it's nuts. The thousands and thousands of them things that are going to be up shallow, there's going to be every fish in the lake moving shallow trying to eat them. And so I've laid out some baits here that I think are going to be really, really good tools for capitalizing on this bite, putting a lot of fish into the boat, and being able to put some big fish into the boat. And I've kind of approached this from two different prongs. The prong of mimicking the cicadas and doing a really good job of mimicking the cicadas for those bass that want to feed on the cicadas and then the prong of having something that also mimics a, mimics a bluegill really real, really really well so that you can catch those bass that are eating those bluegills that are eating those cicadas. So the first tool in the lineup and it's probably going to be obvious for a lot of you guys because it's going to be one of the funnest ways to catch them is going to be the old frog and I think a frog is going to be a really really good tool for cicada hatch fishing and for bass fishing during the cicada hatch and brood eggs because of just the size, the profile, the ability to get it in and out of places, and then the immense amount of colors that you can get this thing in. So you guys can see here I've got two different colors, one of them being this bad boy right here. I think this is actually called Piranha. Well, you can see that bright red and that bright orange on there. Well, this brood X of cicadas, if you've ever seen pictures of them, here's a picture of one, as you guys can see, dark black base color, bright red eyes, orange accents on the wings. And so those bass, if they are keying in on those cicadas, are going to be keying in on stuff that has a lot of orange. It's got a lot of red, something that, again, looks like that brood X of cicadas and does a really good job of mimicking that color scheme. And I've also got this one right here, which you could use this or any other kind of bluegill shaddy kind of color, but this has always been a good one when the bluegill spawn starts to happen for me. So that's why I picked this one up. It's something that looks like a bluegill, but it's still got some of those browns in there that looks like a cicada as well. And I mean, you guys can see both of these frogs are absolutely trashed and eat to pieces. And it's because both of these get bit. This one, especially around the mayfly hatch and the bluegill spawn for me. And then this one, I think is going to get, again, a lot of play during that cicada hatch that's going to happen. Now, what's really cool about the frog is you can get it in and get it out of places that you couldn't get a normal topwater. Like you can't skip a spook up under a limb. Well, the thing Thing is, like I said, these cicadas in their little nymph or larva stage actually feeds on the sap of roots of trees. And so the natural place that these cicadas are going to come out of are the roots of trees. And so you want to be able to get in under limbs where those bass are going to be chilling, waiting for those cicadas to fall out of those limbs or chilling, waiting for a bluegill to screw up trying to eat a cicada so they can eat it. And this frog allows you to do that. A lot of people think frog, they think the slop fishing, you know, grass fishing. But for me, it is an open water killer. Skip this thing up under a tree, walk it out from under that tree, out from under a boat dock or anything like that. Put it where you can't put any other top water and get those big, big fish to just absolutely unload on that thing. So definitely a frog. I mean, it's just a good profile. It's a good size. You got the legs. You get an immense amount of colors. You can put it places you can't put anything else. And I think it's going to do a good job of mimicking bluegill as well as those cicadas and really getting the attention of those fish that are looking up, wanting to feed up during this bite. Now the next two baits are going to be soft plastics. One is going to be a creature bait. I have a structure bug right here in my hand, but I think really any creature bait that is going to look like and or mimic a cicada as well as a bluegill is going to be big. Now what I have here is a structure bug in this is green pumpkin purple swirl and i like this green pumpkin pur green pumpkin purple swirl say that five times fast because it does a good job of looking like a bunch of stuff this is actually a color 
that I flipped a little bit when it came out last year during the Mayfly hatch because again it did a really good job of not only looking like mayflies and looking like bugs but you can also dye the tips of those pinctures you know a little bit of chartreuse and it looked like a bluegill and this year pick up the orange dye pen and the red dye pen and put some orange and some red on this thing and it end up actually looking like one of those cicadas. I think another big color and another big player this year is just going to be straight black or some kind of black base because as you guys saw the picture of that cicada they are very very dark bugs um, with orange accents on them so I think having a dark base color and a natural base color are going to be huge and then just taking your orange dye pen or your red dye pen and marking that thing up to look more like a cicada or with the chartreuse more like a bluegill is going to be super, super important. And this thing, again, you can flip it in all those areas that you're throwing that frog. You can use it as a follow-up bait. You can do all kinds of different things just to get up in that shallow water area where those fish, again, are going to be living and feeding on all those cicadas. The next one is probably gonna be a very obvious one and that is going to be a wacky rigged stick bait. I think the wacky rigged stick bait is going to be huge and I think there's gonna be a lot of times when this thing will outfish anything because it's gonna do such a good job of mimicking those flailing, dying cicadas that are on top of the water. If you guys have ever seen a bug caught on top of the water, or even seen a cicada that's caught on top of the water, they just kind of lay there and vibrate and they'll whoop, 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 and vibrate. Well, eventually they kind of get waterlogged and they start to sink and you'll see they just kind of sink with those wings just flapping around. Well, the number one tool that does a really, really good job of kind of mimicking that same sort of action in the water, that same hydrosonic signature is going to be the old stick bait. And so a dark base stick bait, you know, a green pumpkin based stick bait, again, taking that orange pen, that red pen, dying up the sides of that thing, doing a good job of either mimicking those bluegill or those cicadas is gonna be super, super key in putting a lot of fish in the boat. And again, you can put this thing places, you can skip it up under boat docks, skip it up under trees, put it all the same places that you can put your creature bait and your frog and just have a little bit more of a finesse kind of approach to that. And I know what you're saying, Alex, like, a stick bait doesn't look like a cicada. It's bigger than a cicada. Alex, the creature bait or the frog doesn't look like a cicada. It's bigger than a cicada. But the deal is really, yes, you're right. You're correct. They're not an exact mimic of what we're wanting to do. But a lot of the times with fish being such visual predators, if you do a good job of mimicking color patterns and or sound profiles or profiles overall that the fish have been rewarded with a meal with then you're going to get those fish to bite and then most of them are going to be so freaking keyed up looking up shallow that anything that falls in the water that looks like it may be wounded they're going to take advantage of it because with all the bluegill with all the bait fish with all the crappie with everything that's going to be up shallow the bugs the snakes the frogs everything's going to be up shallow it's all going to be up shallow trying to eat these cicadas those bass are going to be sitting back and anything that looks weak anything that looks like an opportunity for them to feed they're going to absolutely crush it and so having these tools are going to be awesome because they allow you to fish really really shallow for the most part weedless get in and out of areas that you know other people can't get in and out of with certain kinds of baits and still be able to put a lot of fish in the boat and this also applies for bank anglers kayak anglers and everybody in between because of all the fish are going to be up shallow and then the last bait is actually going to be a cicada mimicking bait um, i've actually picked up a few different cicada mimicking baits over this past year kind of knowing that this bite was coming i'm a science geek i'm a teacher you guys know that and so i was reading about brood x last year getting jacked up about it thinking about it coming this year started ordering some cicada baits and this little one that i have here obviously is a great mimicker of a cicada i mean this is an actual cicada profile this is what this bait was actually made to look like and this is a duo realis bait and i honestly cannot say the name it's about that long and all the box was in japanese but i've got a few different ones of these a few different sizes but as you guys can see here i mean obviously this looks like a cicada it's got the wings the same body profile got the little feathered treble back there at the back the little arms on the side and it's even got a little rattle in there that's going to do a really good job of mimicking the sounds of those cicadas because if you guys have never heard the cicadas this year you're going to hear them i mean they are so loud there's been reports that one cicada can be as loud as a passenger jet flying directly overhead so you can only imagine one of those dudes can be that loud clocking in at like 100 decibels or something like that 
Or you get a thousand of those bugs up there and they all start screaming at the same time. It's going to be very, very loud. Well, the thing is, you want something that's going to have that kind of row, 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 row sound that those cicadas have. And that's what this little bait was designed to do. Everything from the sound chamber to the way that it actually moves in the water, the body profile, obviously, the little legs on the side, this thing is made to mimic those cicadas. And so this is a bait, like I said, you know, cicadas come every year. They just don't come like they're coming this year. So this is a bait that you can use, you know, more than just every 17 years. And it's just a really cool bait. For you guys that don't know how it works, you guys can see those little wings up on the front. And if you guys have ever seen a pompadour or like a jitterbug, it's kind of got that same kind of rolling, just walking action. And then that little rattle gets going on the inside there. And it looks like a cicada that's floundering on top of the water, that's dying, that's getting waterlogged. And I think this little bait, especially this little bitty one, I'm probably going to throw this on an ultralight and then I've got a little bit bigger one as well. I think that these little baits are going to do a really, really good job of not just catching bass, but catching everything. Blue gills, crappies, trout, I mean anything that's looking up that's wanting to eat those little cicadas, this little bait is going to do a really, really good job of mimicking those baits and mimicking those bugs and getting those bites. But yeah guys, I'm jacked. I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to be like a plague. I think a lot of us are going to get really, really tired really, really fast of the sound of them things screaming up in the trees. But all at the same time, I think if we're all cracking four and five and six pound largemouth that had decided to stay up shallow and not go out deep and, you know, get that bigger class of fish to just kind of hang up shallow because there are so many opportunities for so many meals up shallow, I think we're all going to really enjoy this bite if we capitalize on it. So be ready. It's coming. You'll know what's happened when they're everywhere. They will be everywhere. They will be on everything. They will be screaming their guts out on the trees, on your house, on your car, on your dog, on you. You'll feel like that they are haunting you in your sleep. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Questions or comments, you know where to go. Leave them. Go down in the description. I'll have every product that I talked about linked down below. Go use those links. They're Tackle Warehouse affiliate links. They help me out on the back end when you use them. And as always, you guys are sweet. And thank you for watching.